how to use picture frames in Publisher, Affinity Publisher, and also combine it with Affinity Photo. So if you haven't got Photo, it's gonna be a bit of an issue. However, let's start right at the beginning. So let's just remove that. And now what you need to do to add a picture frame, just go over here. You can see all the various tools there and there's picture frame now I could use this one. I'm gonna use the rectangle one and I'm just gonna add that. And you can resize it, reposition it, all your heart's content. Don't even have to fill it with anything. However, you can fill it with something and I'm just gonna go over here and replace image. Now this one, it's a weird one because what this is, is actually a Finzi Publisher document. Actually probably a Finzi photo. I worked with it with photos. So you can actually create combinations of combinations of combinations of different designs. So click open. And you can see the design there, that's some text that's been distorted, warped, etc., and obviously an image there. And now what you can do, you can zoom in. You just go down here, you've got a little zoom feature here, and you can zoom in. You've also got the option here, just move around, backwards and forwards, you can reposition it. And also, if you want, you can rotate it, and there's the rotation just there. You can just see rotation there. Now you've got also, the picture frame itself, you can rotate that, of course. So you can do both. You can rotate this. You can also rotate the picture frame as well as resize it as well, if you want to do that as well. So there's a variety of different things you can do with this. Now, a key panel with all these, always layers. So here's layers. And you can see if you go over here, you can break this down. You can see there they are, untitled.afpub, which is unusual. I thought it was a photo, but however, you can obviously bring in a variety of different things, not just JPEGs, PNGs, etc., but also obviously clearly these sort of things. It's a linked document there, it says. So you've got that design. Well, what you can do if you want to add some effects to it, and you can see that you can add effects to various images as well as text, etc. Just go over here, file and edit in photo. So edit in photo. Now I've got photo open already and you can see the result. There's the design and it looks much the same. And also you've got layers. So you go over here, layers, and you can see here you've got picture frame. Of course, there's no picture frames in photo, but you can see you can still manipulate the picture frame. You can just resize it, move it around. Now you can also select that. Now the range of tools obviously is limited. You can't zoom in here appears to be no option for that. But you can manipulate it in all kinds of ways. But also what you can do is select that, just select that. Make sure you select, that's the key thing. You can also select the picture frame as well, but I'm selecting this one, the image. Go to a layer, and then new layer filter layer. So now I'm just gonna go say distort. Now there's not a vast range of options here. There's a few, so twirl and you can add a twirl effect to it. Now, let's just bring that up there, and you can see as you do that, a twirl effect is added. Now, you might not want twirl, obviously, there's other ones as well. Displace is a pretty good one, but you can see you can now distort that image. And you also got blend modes, you can run through there if you want to see, you can create blends between them. I'm just gonna go with normal, but you can do that if you want. And then you can see now you've got that twirl there. You can also, if you want to, go to the picture frame. So now the picture frame is selected. So the picture frame is selected. Now you can go and do exact same. Now you can use filters as well. However, as soon as you do that, it will all become one pixel layer, which you may not want. So what you need to do, if you want to keep it live, just go to layer and then new live filter layer and then go down to distort, and I'm gonna use twirl again, because twirl's a great one, but you could use any of these other ones, perfectly reasonable, but twirl, and that's for the picture frame. And you can see then, you can distort the picture frame. And you can change that, you can see great twirls there, it's obviously not a very big twirl there, but you can move it around, change that, maybe not that much, but you can distort it. So the picture frame itself is also distorted. And also you can do exactly the same here. You've got blend modes as well. You can run through it if you want. You think, you know what? Screen, even better, even better. But I'm just gonna go with normal. But you can, if you want to, do that. And you can see now you've got the twirl associated with the picture frame. 
You've got the image, got a twirl as well. Again, it could be anything. It could be any of these things. And once you've done that, you could, of course, add other things to it as well. Maybe some shapes, etc., and other things that are part of photo. However, what you can do, go to File and Edit in Publisher. You could go to Designer and add some more features there. So Edit in Publisher. Now we're back in Publisher and you can see the result. And you can see now you've got this picture frame that's been distorted. You've got your image there that's been changed. <clears throat> and also what you can do, of course, you can manipulate this even more. You can turn around and say, you know what? I want to zoom in a bit more. So you can again go here and as you do that, you can see the twirl will change. So you can zoom in there. And also you can decide, you know what? I don't want it like that, I want it rotated. So you can rotate it as well and that will change. And also you can move it around and that will change as well. That's a picture frame. You can also go here and again, this has got a twirl as well. And you can then manipulate that. You move that around, resize it and so on and so on. And also at any point, what you can do, double click and just bring it up here. And you can see within Publisher, you've got this twirl feature. And you can, again, continue to modify that. Now, what you can also do, of course, you can then turn around and say, oh, you know what? I want some text. Well, I'm going to add some text now. So I've got some text. I'm just going to add some text here. So text, and I'm just going to go down for insert filler text. And of course, you can change the size. Let's just make that a bit bigger. And resize that. Okay, now the frame text is inside there. You can always move it out. Let's just move that out because I put it in the wrong place and now it's outside. And you can resize, that's why it was not doing it properly. So now you can see you've got here, it's outside the picture frame. You could put it inside the picture frame as well, of course. You can move it like that, rotate that, move that around. And you can turn around and say, well, you know what? I want to distort that as well. Well, what you do, go to File, and again, go to Edit in Photo. And within that, you can see you've got frame, you've got all the picture frame, etc. You've got that, you can turn around and say Layer, and make it selected. New Layer Filter Layer, Distort, and again, Twirl. Twirl's the most visible one, maybe you can do the other ones, but, but Twirl there, and straight away, you've got a Twirl associated with that. And again, you can distort it. So let's just change that. And you can see now the text gets distorted as well. And you can manipulate that. And again, blend modes, you can run through if you wish. But I'm just gonna close that down. Now, what you can do, again, file and edit in Publisher. Always puts it over there. Weird, why doesn't it keep it where I had it before? However, there you've got your text. Now you can move it around, manipulate that. You might decide, you know what? I don't want this image anymore. I've changed my mind. I can go for a different image. So simply select this picture frame. So here selected, go up here to replace image. Now you can set this file, any of the files. Now this one, this rainbow design, is also got a twirl within that. It's gonna be a linked document. So you could change that as well. It's all linked to linked with makes it very confusing, but however, click open. And you can see the design, that's, but that's been twirled by this twirl, the associated twirl there. You've also got the picture frame, which has also got a live filter as well. So they've all got live filters, and also the frame itself has got a live filter. And at any point, you can always go over here and just double click that, bring up the panel. And again, change the angle. Now you can see the angle change there. You can also change the radius and so on and so on. Now, as I say, the actual design, the actual file itself has got a twirl. So <laughs> lots of twirls involved in this. And then the picture frame itself, you can again double click that. So that will come up and you can then modify that. So again, this is the picture frame you're modifying now. And you can tweak that and you can see as you do that, of course, just changes over there as well. And again, you can still continue to modify, maybe color burn instead of what was before. And you've still got this as well, and so on. And you can still zoom in, 
You can take and as you do that, you can see that changes. You can also still rotate it and it will change then as it rotates as well. And of course, what you can do, maybe have images with text in, text in text, bond text, make it very unusual designs that all can, can be combined. Because this design itself, if you want to, you can go back to Publisher into Photo, Edit in Photo, maybe save it as a file and just use this as a source for an image and so on and so on. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.